Today, we have some interesting news about Kris Jenner. She has been in a relationship with Corey Gamble for a minute now, but she is not interested in walking down the aisle, and we've got all the details. Let's get into the specifics. The 68-year-old matriarch, who was previously married to Caitlyn Jenner and the late Rob Kardashian, has been dating Corey Gamble for more than nine years, but she has said she is not considering getting married again. When People magazine asked if she, alongside her daughters Kendall Jenner and Kim Kardashian, had any plans to tie the knot, she replied, All of us are having fun, and we have no marriage plans yet. Kris Jenner has an interesting dating history. Let us begin at the very start. While in high school, Kris Jenner, then known as Kristen Mary Houghton, met Robert Kardashian, her first husband. They were both attending Los Angeles Fairfax High School. In 1978, when Chris was only 22 years old, the couple was married. Robert was a prosperous lawyer who shot to prominence representing O.J. Simpson in the infamous 1995 assassination trial. His role in the case thrust him and his family into the public eye, together with Chris and their four kids. The marriage was far from ideal, though. Chris was well known for her wild ways, and Robert was perceived as a bit of a playboy. They remained together for 13 years in spite of their problems, ending their marriage in 1991. Following her divorce from Robert, Chris entered into a number of well-known partnerships. After that, from 1990 to 1991, Chris dated former professional baseball player Todd Waterman. When Chris caught Waterman red-handed in bed with another woman, the relationship came to an end. When she was still married to Robert Kardashian, she had met Bruce Jenner. In April 1991, she married Bruce Jenner, an athlete who is currently Caitlyn Jenner. After an extended marriage, the couple's marriage was dissolved in March 2015. Following her divorce from her second husband, Bruce Jenner, Kris Jenner started dating Corey Gamble in 2015. Corey first got to know Kim Kardashian, Kris' daughter, while he was working as her security guard. Since they first started dating, Corey, who is a businessman and talent manager, has played a big role in Chris's life. The couple has managed to maintain a very quiet relationship for more than nine years of dating. Even though Chris and Corey seem to be happy together, there have been some concerning red flags in their relationship. Rumors that Corey was having an affair with Chloe Bartoli arose in 2018. A set of images featuring Corey and Chloe together in France fueled the speculations. There have also been talks about Corey and Chris being very different in age. Corey is more than 20 years younger than Chris. According to several critics, Chris is taking advantage of Corey's youth and attractiveness. With the help of Chris Jenner, Corey Gamble has been able to advance his career. He has participated in a number of business endeavors. Additionally, Corey has appeared in multiple episodes of the reality TV series Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which has elevated the Kardashian Jenner family to stardom. He has amassed a sizable social media following thanks to his appearance on the show. Despite having a turbulent dating past, Kris Jenner has found love once more with Corey Gamble. Red flags and speculations aside, the couple appears content to be together. Kendall Jenner has also had an interesting relationship history. Kendall Jenner would rather keep her dating life private, in contrast to the majority of Kardashians and Jenners who are open books. Executive producer of Keeping Up With The Kardashians Farnas Farjam revealed in 2021. Kendall's always had this rule, she felt like she had to be with someone for at least a year before she let them be a part of the show because she doesn't always know what people's intentions are. So that's why we kind of kept her personal life out of it, just because she had a rule. In 2019, Jenner opened out to Vogue Australia about her choice to keep her romantic life private. She said, For me, a lot of things are very special and very sacred like my friends and relationships. I personally think that bringing things into the public makes everything so much messier. Nevertheless, the supermodel has been connected to a number of well-known figures throughout the years, including her two-year relationship with NBA player Devin Booker and her teenage romance with Harry Styles. Rapper Bad Bunny was Jenner's most recent romantic partner. In November 2013, Harry Styles was seen out on his first date with Jenner following his breakup with Taylor Swift. At the time, a source said, they're just friends, but in January 2014, during a New Year's ski trip with friends, the couple appeared to be a little more serious. According to a source, Harry skied and Kendall snowboarded. They had a great time together. A lot of smiling and flirting was occurring. Big sister Khloe Kardashian expressed her opinion that Jenner and Styles had a romantic relationship.
they were hanging out together. Do I think they're dating? Yes. I don't know if they're like boyfriend girlfriend, she told. Nowadays, I don't know, people are weird with stuff. So I don't know their title, but I mean they were in St. Bart's together hanging out, so to me that's dating. I would call that dating. In the summer of 2017, Jenner and NBA player Blake Griffin were initially observed together attending events, going to after parties, and going on double dates with friends. According to a source, she was seeing Blake romantically. It's nothing serious. She has been in Los Angeles a lot lately and is having fun. That's all that matters to her. By the fall, she and Griffin went to Halloween Horror Nights with sister Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott, and they also cheered him on at a Clippers game. They started out more like friends, and then it was very casual. But it seems more serious lately. When they are not together, they keep in touch over the phone. Her family has accepted Blake. They are spending time getting to know him. The source added, he got traded and isn't local anymore, so they've grown apart a bit just because of distance. When Jenner and basketball player Ben Simmons were spotted together for lunch at the Beverly Hills Hotel in May 2018, there was speculation that the two were dating. The connection was first inconsistent and took some time to become exclusive, but Jenner finally acknowledged it on the Ellen DeGeneres show in February 2019. So obviously you're dating this guy who's on the 76ers. How long have you been dating him? DeGeneres asked. Jenner couldn't contain her smile and said, for a bit now. When the supermodel and Phoenix Suns star Devin Booker were photographed traveling together to Arizona in April 2020, romantic speculations about them were first raised. An insider said that, Kendall seems very happy. Devin is very sweet to her. He spends a lot of time with Kendall's family and friends too. They both seem to enjoy the quiet time together. In June 2021, the couple celebrated turning one year together with a plethora of PDA-filled Instagram pictures. She is crazy about him. A source said, she has never looked happier. Her whole family loves Devin too. The couple temporarily broke up in June 2022, shortly after their two-year anniversary, but they were soon spotted together once more. But in August, Jenner and Booker discreetly called it quits. Kendall Jenner and rapper Bad Bunny were spotted exiting a Los Angeles restaurant in February 2023. According to reports, the two headed to Wally's in Beverly Hills for a double date with the Beavers. Later on, a source said that the two are spending time together. Kendall recently started hanging out with him. Friends had introduced them. A few weeks ago, he went to Los Angeles and purchased a house. She likes him and is having fun. He is different from guys that she dated in the past. He is very charming. A few weeks later, at the Hidden Hills Equestrian Center in California, Jenner introduced Bad Bunny to her horse Arizona. Before the rapper rode Arizona around the training ring, the couple enjoyed a romantic horseback ride around the estate. The breakup of Jenner and Bad Bunny was revealed by a source in December 2023. News of the couple's status emerged almost two months after Bad Bunny's appearance as the SNL host and musical guest during an after-party on Saturday Night Live. Kim Kardashian is also not looking to marry anytime soon. Odell Beckham Jr. and Kim Kardashian are reportedly dating currently, and given that the simplest way to characterize their relationship is as extremely private, Kim's first husband was Damon. When she was 19 and he was 28, they were married, but Kim claims that she impulsively decided to elope in Vegas while high on ecstasy. She admitted on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, I got married on ecstasy. I did ecstasy once and I got married, I did it again and I made a sex tape. Like everything bad would happen. They dated from 2000 to 2003. Although Kim and Ray J didn't date for very long, they did collaborate on a sex tape that was eventually released. The publication of the tape, according to Ray J, was a deal and a partnership between Kris Jenner and Kim and me. Ray J has denied leaking the tape. Kris, however, has categorically denied having anything to do with the tape's sale, even in the middle of a lie detector exam on The Late Late Show. In the year 2006, Nick Lashey and Kim had a brief romantic relationship and were seen holding hands at the Da Vinci Code. Unfortunately, things didn't work out with them. Nick claimed Kim manipulated him to make headlines. After meeting on the Moshe set, Kim Kardashian and Nick Cannon dated for around a year. Nick revealed that, I was really into her, I was vibing. She broke my heart. The game said that Kim and him had dated just before she dated Reggie Bush. 
We start dating a little bit, but I would always hook my Xbox up. She had that good internet. The game also claimed he was damn near in love, but their relationship ended after he purportedly saw Reggie Bush in her condo building. Reggie and Kim had a somewhat unstable relationship until calling it quits in 2009. An insider stated, they never get to see each other ever. It's been a long time coming. They still love each other and are part of their lives, but Reggie spends six months out of the year in New Orleans, so it's tough. Kim dated Miles Austin in 2010. They dated for a short while and split up because of distance. A source revealed, there's no huge reason except their distance apart. With his season and Kim's filming it just slowly split them apart. They tried to keep it as low profile as possible when they were together. They were acting as if they were single or just having fun, but they never were, it was the real deal. They were always strong, but before Kim left for Europe, they decided it's not fair that they don't get to spend more time together and ended it. Kim Kardashian dated and married Chris Humphreys in 2011. After a six-month courtship, they became engaged, got married on national television, and got divorced in just 72 days. Chris spoke about it saying, it's never easy to go through the embarrassment of something like that, with your friends, with your family, but when it plays out so publicly in front of the world, it's a whole other level. It was brutal. Following the breakup with Chris Humphreys, Kim and Kanye got together, but after nearly 10 years of marriage and four children, Kim filed for divorce. Kim Kardashian opened up about her decision to file for divorce saying, for so long, I did what made other people happy. And I think in the last two years, I decided I'm going to make myself happy. And that feels really good. And even if that created changes and caused my divorce, I think it's important to be honest with yourself about what really makes you happy. I've chosen myself. I think it's okay to choose you. Tell us in the comments whether you think Kris Jenner, Kendall Jenner, or Kim Kardashian might be getting married anytime soon. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on what's happening with your favorite stars.